Hi guys, welcome back to another DigiF mod video update. So now this is our final video on the Inwin 805 build we've been doing. Now we've aimed this for a complete sort of a Republic of Gamers sort of theme build. So it's all red. We had to uh, custom paint this side a bit red as that normally comes black. And we also painted the front red and we put the Inwin logo back on the front. So the only thing that came red was this nice little bit of aluminium up the top but what we did was added those red there and we've done quite a little bit of work inside. Uh, you'll see that in a tick. Uh, I just wanted to, uh, to turn this on now while, uh, while the system's got the side panel on just so you can see how it looks through the, uh, through the tinted uh, side window. I'm not sure how much you can see there, but, uh, but you can definitely see some of the outlines of the fans and then the power supply cover we've done as well so what i'll do is i'll turn it off we'll take this uh take this cover off because you're probably just getting a heap of a uh, heap of reflections off there so yeah we've gone with um uh, all republican gamers scene we've got uh a, a zeus formula 7 in here so it's not the latest it's not the eight uh the latest z170 range because we already had this board so we've decided to go up to z97 All right, so this is the final system here. As you can see, very red. Uh, we've gone with the blood red bits of power uh, fittings. We've gone with the cr uh, brass chromed tubing. I really do like this uh, tubing. It just takes a little bit more effort to cut. And then we've gone with the complete custom power supply cover down the bottom. So we've gone with a right angle power supply cover. I did say in a previous video that I'll probably do a right angle uh, power supply cover only because the uh, the main aesthetics of the case and the structure is very square like everything's got sharp angles and i thought uh doing a round pass by cover would just look out of a out of place then we've added the red ssd on the side we, we've added some uh, sponsor logos up here and then the uh, republic of gamers uh main logo on the side there so the video cards are two 290x video cards the cpu is a broadwell i think it's a 5775c so not a uh, Z170 said before, but it's still a relatively uh, new CPU. And then we've gone with the blood red coolant. Uh, not sorry, not blood red. We've gone with the pastel coolant. Uh, you can see in the reservoir there. And we've added a little funky reservoir up the top, which is completely just being held together with the fittings. So uh, the way we went about this pass, uh, PSU cover, it was really quite simple. I just started off. There's actually two layers on the top here. The middle layer is a complete clear I think it's about a four or five millimeter thick bit of clear plexi. And then we got a top uh, two mil bit of plexi, which is painted black. And then by adding them both together and adding an LED strip on the clear one, once you sand the edge, you get a nice little uh, LED ring along the side because we've added an LED strip along the back. And then the top black one just goes over the whole lot just to finish it up. And then we've just added the, uh, the sort of the side bit on the bottom here, which is just the same clear plexi which we just painted black and then I just uh, I just printed out or vinyl cut some little round holes just to add some aesthetics on the side and then on top there and then I thought I might as well add this pass-through fitting on the power supply cover just to uh, just to sort of finish it off and uh, and sort of make make it look a little bit different and now we've got a 360 mil radiator along the front now the case doesn't uh, naturally support a 360 straight out of the box I'm not sure why they did this but this little bracket here that you unscrew these two and you can actually mount the the radiator on when it's outside the case and slide it in this little bracket has a little right angle lip on it so essentially a 280 will just uh, stop before the little right angle lip but as soon as you put a 360 in it would hit that so i i just put that on the table saw sheared it off and now i can fit a 360 in there so pretty much that's all we can fit in this case one 360 it it will be enough to cool this system but uh if you wanted to do a little bit more or if you're in a really hot environment you'd probably look at adding a slightly thicker 360 this is a 40 millimeter you could probably add a 60 millimeter uh, you can put the fans on the inside as well they can go behind here but i opted to go for the fans on the on the outside or sorry on the inside of this area just to make it look uh, a little bit nicer so you can see the fans all right so that's probably enough talking for a little bit what i'll do is i'll turn this on um, unfortunately the camera is not really going to pick up the led lighting too good now this is an, uh, an rgb strip along here and it's also an rgb strip uh, in the front here so once i turn it on 
I'll actually see if I can get my remote control and we'll change the, uh, the color of the RGB. All right, so I've got my remote. So these are the LED strips I get sponsored from ModGuru. So they do LED strips, they do sleeving. They haven't done the sleeving. I already had some red uh, already in my kits, but they have done sleeving for me in the past. But these LED strips are really good. They use uh, uh, RF signal, so you don't have to be directly line of sight. Now the RF signal isn't 100% perfect. You can't be standing in the next room. You have to be somewhere in the same area, but you definitely don't need to be pointing it exactly like the like the older line of sight ones. So now I've got this as, uh, as white along here and along here. So we'll just go through some of the colors. So we got green, I'll see if that's on the max brightness. It might not look too good from the camera. I always have troubles recording, uh, recording things like LEDs and stuff, but uh, from what I'm seeing, it's like a really nice even color all the way along. And that red looks really nice. Uh, no doubt it's probably gonna look orange on the camera with that red all the way along. There is a little bit of a color difference in the red just here, because it's obviously the, the LEDs are coming from the back here. It's hitting the, uh, the hole where the pass through fitting is, and it's just not dispersing the, the light properly. But, uh, but it is a really nice red, and that does look like a really, uh, a really nice little, uh, little line there. But um, probably on, on the camera, once again, it's probably not picking it up. And then that's a really nice dark blue. And on the camera, that's probably coming out purple. But uh, I'm going to try and take some photos of this later. And I'll really try and get the, uh, the LEDs right just to show you how nice that really looks. Uh, but apart from that, that's pretty much it. So the overall build time for this system was about uh, two days. I didn't do a whole lot. Uh, I started with going about this by putting the, the motherboard in the case and I got the, the radiator and the fans in the case. You may have seen quite a few photos on Facebook and then I just sort of left it at there at that for, for about a week while I sort of thought of ideas on, on what to do. I already planned to do the chrome and blood red tubing. Uh, it was mainly to do with the power supply cover. I really wanted to do something a bit different down here and then I sort of thought, thought of a design in my head and then I spent pretty much one whole day working on on the power supply cover and then I spent the second day sort of uh, finishing it all off and filling the system up. So it was a bit of a rush. I've got another build to do in the Inwin S frame uh, before an event uh, next weekend. So that we do have a uh, helping out a, a Scoutland event, which is just a gaming event. And I'll be having these three Inwin builds. I've done the 909, the 805, and the gold S-frame build all at this event. So I still haven't started the S-frame build, so that's gonna be pretty rushed as, rushed as well. But uh, even though I did spend two, two days on this, I do think it actually came out relatively good. And I didn't wanna overcomplicate it. I wanna just sort of show people that you don't need to uh, you don't need to get things laser cut, professionally done, spend lo lots of money to do some basic uh, modded builds. And, th and the fact that this is a, a relatively uh, mid-range build, I, wa I wasn't going to do like uh, a month's worth of modding on a little case like this. I like to sort of s stagger the modding uh, in terms of the case. Like if I've got a really expensive case, yeah, I'll do some more work. But mo more of a medium uh, uh, budget range case, uh, I wouldn't say this is, this is a budget range case, but more of a mid-range system. I, I like to keep the modding simple and effective uh, and try to sort of help people to, to do this stuff themselves uh, because what I've done here, you, uh, I've just used a, a, a jigsaw to cut this out, sanded it down. Uh, I've used a step drill, uh, jigsaw around the side to cut this hole out and that's it. Really nothing really too complex. You don't need all this fancy stuff. So yeah, that's just how I like to, uh, like to do most of my builds. Nothing too fancy that a lot of people can't do. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, the next mod video series will be on the InWin S-Frame. So thank thanks for watching and stay tuned for next time.